You can use any object in your OpenOffice Impress presentation and create a custom animation from it. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and insert a image that I can use for my custom animation. You want to make sure that you have the drawing toolbar turned on. If you don't, then just go to View, and then Toolbars, and then click on Drawing. Um, if you would like to insert one from the gallery, then you can press the gallery button. You can also press the from file button and then you can go ahead and browse and um, find a picture that you want to open. I'm going to go ahead and use one from the gallery. We got a couple of options here. Um, I'm going to actually choose this home button here and I'm just going to click and drag to add it to my presentation. It's really small. I'm going to make it bigger just so we can see it a little bit better. Um, while we're working with the animation and then I can shrink it down later. So what you want to do now is click on the custom animation um, tab on your task pane. If you do not see your task pane then go to view and then click on task pane. So I'm going to click on custom animation and under modify effect I'm going to go to add and this is going to add my custom animation. Now I have lots of different choices here and it's going to actually preview it for me so if your dialog box is in the way move it out of the way so you can actually see the preview. And it might take a second for it to load and it will show you what all of these look like. And so when you go to the slide and you go to this image, this is the action or the animation that this image is going to take. You can also choose it for random if you want. Now you also have the option for some of these of changing the speed and that will change the speed of how fast it appears. Go back to it and we'll set fast for it. Now for emphasis, this is whatever you want um, to emphasize it. You can have it spin, you could have it blast. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the spin here and you can also change the speed with these two. Now for exit, when you exit the slide, if you want it to have an animation, you can set one of those. And here you can change the speed as well. A motion path, if you want it to actually um, take a path, then it can form a star for you. It can form a diamond, an octagon, and you can change the speed of that too. So when you're done with your animations, click on OK, and it will it'll go ahead and set that animation. You notice that we have a lot of different options now more than we had. You could click on change and you can get that box again if you want to make any changes. You can also click on remove and that will go ahead and remove all the effects. Um, also, let me go ahead and add another one here. You can have when you want it to start. If you want it to start on a click with a previous, after a previous animation, you can do that. You can change the direction that you want it to happen. And then here you can change the speed again. Um, and so these are some custom animations that you can use to any sort of image or other object with an OpenOffice Impress.